This is the day. This is the occasion. The final of the 2024 UEFA European Championship. A chance to write new history. A chance to achieve greatness. With the football world eagerly watching. Find out how it unfolds right here on EA TV. And so it comes down to this. Welcome to our coverage of the final here at the Euros. My name is Derek Ray, sitting here on the commentary gantry. And with me to provide expert analysis, a complete tactical breakdown, is Stuart Robson. What a match this promises to be. It's Germany against England. Well, there's going to be some nerves out there for sure, but what an occasion this should be. It's going to be tense, it's going to be tight, but it's also going to be dramatic. It should be a terrific game. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Jonathan Tarr in central defence. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kyle Walker plays with Kieran Trippier as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? Oh, my word. There's excellent timing for you. What a challenge. And the keeper making sure that was pushed well away from danger. Well, psychologically for England, it was such a difficult thing to go through at the last Euros when they lost to Italy on penalties. So near and yet so far. How will they deal with the pressure of the final on this occasion? Well, I think they're a very good team. I think they're playing with a lot of confidence. They've got good team spirit. The manager seems to have got things right, which he didn't do in previous tournaments in the big games. I think this is going to be a good performance, and I think they will win the game. Well, we always talk up Jamal Musiala, and with good reason, has terrific skill, and good luck to his opponents. Well, Derek, over the years, he scored so many goals. It's his ability to come short and then spin in behind defenders at such pace. When the ball's played in behind, nobody catches him, and he often gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and we know what the result is. technique but the goalkeeper did his job an example of a goalkeeper in top form here Trippier well ball back with Germany now a oh, good hit close shave Harry Kane. Kane. Kane! Oh, good save. And over it comes. Well, met it with the full force of his head, but over the top. Tony Kroos. Jamal Musiala. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? Well, the card is out and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card.
Gundogan. Well, a shot from miles out. Asking a lot of any player, quite honestly, to score from that position. Well, I don't need to say too much about that, do I, Derek? A good effect of pressure high up the pitch. Well, it clearly was deflected, so it will be their throw-in. England recovering possession well. And teammates around him. Stones. Perfect challenge. And slipped through by Ilkay Gundogan. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. They stopped them in their tracks. Doing well and getting forward here. Gundogan had a useful cross. Well, the cross came over and a real need to get rid of the ball here. Trippier. And Bellingham. Attack carried an initial threat but fizzled out. And Bellingham. Good run, very much in control of the situation. Now, when it comes to a volley, everything has really got to be spot on. And quite simply, it wasn't that time. No, and I think that's a waste of a decent opportunity. He just didn't connect with it properly, did he? Good piece of closing down. Kane and Bellingham well that's how to put in a clean tackle well if you're wondering about added time two minutes it'll be options in the centre well given the position he found himself in he really should be testing the keeper superb opportunity squandered Kyle Walker under pressure here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway here, into the second half. And a good tackle. Good distribution. Havertz! Oh, marvellous save. Great goalkeeping. So making the substitution now. Stones. Harry Kane. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. Can they forge ahead? Oh, not to be! Stopping a certain goal. 
And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Well, a disappointing end to that break. Walker. And players waiting in the centre. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. Well, the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way following this corner? And they will make the change now. Can someone get on the end of this? And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. I'll tell you what, that is really top-class defending. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Oh, the threat is there. Well, you're bound to be a bit cross with yourself when you're presented with that sort of opportunity. Well, in the end, it's a fairly easy save for the goalkeeper, but really... And he might be through here. And pushed away to safety. And well positioned to clear. Can he finish? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Mark Guehi. And now Stones. Saka. Harry Kane. Walker. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that one. And Bellingham. Well, let's call it a meaty effort, but certainly not accurate enough. And time for the change now. Sané. Sané. Opportunity. And the keeper more than equal to it. Just 15 minutes remaining. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And Kane comes into the move. Good-looking attack, this. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Sané. Well, maybe a good position from which to counter. Across from Sané. Well, the keeper has pulled out all the stops there. Well, it's a great chance to win the game. But what a brilliant piece of goalkeeping that was. It's an outstanding save. Fired over by Kors. Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved the goal. And pressing from the front. Must take the lead here. Well, it was a good save, but that was the chance to win the game there. That could be their last opportunity. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Five minutes of the 90 still to go, and the teams cannot be separated. Must score! Oh, a goal! Late drama here, and surely that's one hand on the 
the trophy. So little time left for a response now. Well, just look how Muller glides beyond his opponent. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Guehi. Rice with it. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Three minutes of added time here. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. The tackle taken away. Sané. Going well. And there goes the final whistle. Germany on home soil have won the Euros on this dramatic night here in Berlin. The joy, the ecstasy, also the disappointment, but ultimately the feeling of togetherness. Well, I have to say, they've been brilliant throughout the tournament. They were great today as well. They are the deserved champions, no doubt about that. And these are very special scenes that we're witnessing. And now with the pressure off, a chance to reflect, a chance to celebrate, the trophy about to be presented. The European champions, Germany! What a great moment for these players, absolutely brilliant. And it doesn't get any better than this, does it? A chance now to celebrate with their own fans. And the fans have also played their part. Just listen to the noise here. Great end to this tournament.